Andy, why don't you just uh, run back, run out there and fix that for us, Lee? Here's how it happened to Kyle Busch. Happens that fast. And, uh, ah, don't worry, we'll have it fixed by Vegas. Demonstration of how safely these cars are built. Let's have another look at this, Jackie. Now, remember, we're looking from a live television camera through the windshield of car number 71, just before Tim Richmond up in front, as you will see, begins to spin in car number 99. Richmond, who was rookie of the year at Indianapolis, there he goes. And he started to spin. It looks like he might have hit oil, or oil went onto his rear wheels because it wasn't in a regular place for him to spin. Very difficult to put a hit a bump or anything else. Look at the work being done here by Dave Marcus, really working the steering wheel the car is now as they call it an opposite lock and there we lose our picture because obviously tremendous amount of action inside that car joey logano just missing the inside of the 77 car when he came by right along with jeff gordon here be ready folks this is hard Ooh. man just no time to do anything and there's no safer barrier there that's just an armco barrier steel barrier Fortunately, Jeff able to get the helmet off and walk away. Second round of qualifying in Phoenix in the 55 car. Little debris and our camera lens paying the price there in the front straightaway. Probably about the time for the second lens for that camera for the day. <laughs> I think so. Where is maintenance, please? We have a problem <laughs> on our camera there near the start finish line. He's going to push around. Here he comes. Looking high. Come on up here. Come on up here a little bit. Come on up here. Come on up here. Inside of you now. Inside. Let me know if you're all right. Strange things happen at Dover. Oh, Kevin Harvick back up into the top 10. 255 laps complete. Oh. going to happen beside of him as he moves up the racetrack here he'll touch Jeff Gordon so I see Terry Labonte goes by and then they're still now they're coming in to turn one there's where he touches Jeff Gordon Jeff John and Brady down on the inside and then oh, it breaks the, necessity. the lights went out then. in turn one yesterday afternoon half hour left in the final practice you're riding with Elliot Sadler there's the tire blowing there's the first time over second third how many times did you go over Elliot I think we ended up 12 times before it uh, was all said and done it's uh, definitely the scariest time of my life but I tell you what the Wood Brothers built me a great race car as far as being safe NASCAR did a great job on the specs and uh, I'm just happy to be here with you fine people today <laughs> I believe Kenny was out of his car before his car stopped. He was trying to get out. That's a camera shot there. Now that's a camera shot. Ooh. Now that is an unmanned camera, so you know that's a camera that operates on a robot, so there wasn't anybody standing behind that. Unbelievable. It's very gratifying to see. Well, I, I it was going to be wild. I didn't know it was going to be this wild. Right here, the three back from him. This is from Carl's onboard Looking camera. Inside, zero, nine. But Daryl, I, I want to ask you. And from Dale Jr. Oof. You don't often see cars spinning out on a quarter mile track and everybody facing the same way when it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Ty Gibbs got hit hard in that left rear, a lot harder than you know, I expected. He's actually in the infield. I don't know if they're going to get that one back out there. Looks like we got a down soldier there. Uh, that camera will not be in use next week. Sorry.
you think this race in Martinsville is tough on the race cars? I know it is. Look what it does to our equipment. Watch this. Oh my goodness. Crash. Look at that hunk of rubber. That was our camera. Yep. Wow. <laughs>